plan team. All three nor concealing physical evidence. A misdemeanor for the general public. A felony for a peace officer. Was directed by acting on the day of this riot to submit a document. That document was intentionally withheld, I believe, through a conspiracy of the warden. From three separate official investigations conducted by the Department of Corrections. Additionally, I move that this panel collaborate with special federal officials and charge all CDC administrators that have had knowledge of this and did not act with federal obstruction of justice. Did you request from the Department of Corrections for protection? Yes, I did, ma'am. And when did you make those requests? I made those requests after the news article there that quoted an involvement with the Mexican Mafia as a former chief deputy warden at dual vocational institutions. And there's one other thing that I have to have to add. It's time for change in leadership. The New York Times best-selling book, Standing for Something, by Gordon B. Hinckley, was a gift to me from my wife. And I want to read a paragraph and share with you its power. It is not wise or even possible to divorce private behavior from public leadership. So there are those who have gone to great lengths to suggest that this is not only possible view, but this, that this is the only possible view of, quote, enlightened, end quote, individuals. They are wrong. They are deceived. By its very pure virtue, true leadership carries with it the burden of being an example. Mr. Hickman and the other leaders of this department, including Mr. Rimmer, who I took a complaint to, have not followed up and done their duty as peace officers. The only person in this agency that I trust is the man, woman that's mentioned in the suicide note from Captain Piper to his wife. He says, you bet, the only two people you can trust are Roseanne Campbell and Max Lim. I implore Arnold Schwarzenegger to stand up and be a man of his campaign promise. He promised no special interest, and the greatest special interest to ever impact this state is the California Correctional Peace Officers Association. I am through. I would like to surrender these documents as promised. I would like to have these documents handed to representatives Excuse from the me. Attorney General. Excuse me, for those in the hearing room, uh, we are going to ask this in the hearing. We're going to ask for no outbursts.